Hi, I'm Steve, 3D Technical Advisor for 123 3D. Today, we are going to be doing an unboxing video for Creality's latest offer in the Ender 5 S1. First thing we're going to do is unpack the box. The Creality Ender 5 S1 is the perfect beginner to intermediate printer. It has a 220 by 220 by 280 print volume and is perfect for printing many different items. The S1 is capable of printing up to speeds of 250 millimeters a second due to its core XY frame construction which makes it one of the fastest printers in the price range. Once you've unpacked all the components it's important to check that you have all the components relevant to what are stated in the manufacturer's manual. And remove all the packaging from the extrusion, lay them out make sure that you've got the relevant parts then I slide the print base off the table this allows easy access to the bolt holes ready for the assembly of the frame Once we've completed the rear, we then slide the printer to the front of the table, again allowing easy access for the bolts for the front extrusions. Once we've completed the four corners, we then apply the top frame, again fixing it down with the bolts provided. Now we'll move the printer to one side while we do the build plate assembly. So I've used the foam packaging as a packer and then I'm winding the lead screw down to lower the build plate onto the foam packaging. This will aid in the assembly of the heated bed as it allows the screws to line up vertically easily and you don't need four pairs of hands. So once the top part's assembled, we flip it over and then we attach the braces to the bottom of the build plate. Once we have the main assembly uh, assembled, we then attach it to the printer. Uh, it's quite tricky. Basically, I tilted the printer forwards and this allowed me to then easily insert the top portion into the frame before bolting it all up. The most important parts of the assembly of this machine is the corner braces for the main frame. It's very important to note that both are marked the same, uh, left and right, and it's important to make sure they're orientated in the correct position because otherwise this could twist the frame's assembly. So 
So next we assemble the spool holder and this simply screws into the pre-tapped holes on the frame. Then we simply attach the spool, twisting in the locking ring on the opposite side, twisting it until it's locked into place. So next is the wiring. We route the wiring according to the manufacturer's instructions. Firstly, the Sprite extruder comes with a long ribbon cable. Open the clips, locate the ribbon cable into the mounting strain relief bracket, push it into the socket, and the clips will lock it into place. And it's important to note at this point that we connect all the cables that are labeled to the corresponding sockets. So then we put in the five pin plug into the socket, tightening the bezel to make sure that's locked into place. Again, it's very important to ensure that you connect the correct plugs into the correct motors. All the cables are labeled very clearly, so it is an easy process, although you do need to take care. So last of all, I'm just connecting the filament runout sensor and routing the cable again. Okay, to summarise my thoughts on the Creality Ender 5 S1. Overall, it's a, a well-built machine. For the price point, it's capable of printing high temperature materials. It's boasting an increased speed. So your print times will be cut. Ease of setup, it's quite straightforward to anybody that's assembled a 3D printer. The instruction manual is very comprehensive in describing the parts um, and the order of parts that you assemble the machine in. That accompanied with the, the other little adjustments that we made along the way. Yeah, overall, very impressed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and if you need anything 3D related, don't forget to check out 123 3 dcouk